assalamu alaikum and a very pleasant good morning to all of you present here i welcome you all to another practical class of chemistry for grade 10th pms charsata in today's practical class i am going to perform part b of experiment number 8 that is reaction of an aldehyde compound with phalanx test phalanx solutions for this experiment i will require phalanx solution and an aldehyde compound the apparatus is 8 as it is as it was in the previous practical that is beaker some test tube spirit lamp and two chemicals the two chemicals are phalanx solution and an aldehyde compound okay class now coming towards performing the experiment practically as you can see this is formalin formalin is a formaldehyde solution formaldehyde is an organic compound this is phalanx solution which is purple in color remember that you must have knowledge about the physical appearance of all the chemicals in your practical notebook it is given it is mentioned that take any aldehyde compound and match its solution but as i have formaldehyde it is, it is in the solution form so i take directly the formaldehyde solution or formalin in a small beaker and then i will add phalanx solution with the help of this dropper take about 3 cm of the phalanx solution with the help of a syringe or dropper add it to the aldehyde solution or formalin or formaldehyde whatever you call it dear students about formaldehyde ketones glucose all these are organic compounds and you will learn about these compounds in your chemistry textbook in chapter organic compounds or organic chemistry now after adding this uh, phalanx solution into the aldehyde compound you can see you can observe the color of the solution that is light purple in color no i will put this small beaker in this large one beaker containing water and will start heating it note on the color of the solution before the reaction and after reaction completion of the reaction you must also note down the color of the solution as you see as you note that the color of the solution has started changing then the reaction goes to its completion and the change in the color will indicate the formation of a third compound and that third compound is actually copper oxide okay dear all the purpose of all these experiments is just that you can observe with your naked eyes that yes by mixing two or more substances or chemicals we can form a third compound as in your chemistry textbook you always learn that by mixing two or more substances we will get a third compound so by performing all these experiments practically in a chemistry lab you can see that yes these reactions actually happened in real life okay usually the change in the color of the solution indicates the formation of a third compound now in this case as we mix up the two reagents that is phalanx solution and then aldehyde compound which was a formalin the color of the solution before the reaction was light purple and now as you can see the color has changed 
into light red or light orange color precipitates this orange color precipitates indicates the formation of copper oxide compound which is formed by the reaction of these two substances as the reaction is done and it's over thank you class